Eagle here and welcome back to my channel and I know I kind of dip set on y'all for like a week and a half two weeks maybe but here is the thing um I went to California so I was not able to make a video um, until I got myself kind of situated and set up here in California the look that I'm doing today um, I want to show you guys how to do a uh, Halloween party type of look um, just in case you don't want to go full out with some type of costume and uh, crazy makeup or something like that you can still participate um, in doing some type of Halloween look but you can keep it a little bit more toned down but still looks Halloween like so Without further ado, if you guys want to see how I created this look, then by all means, please continue to watch. Alright guys, bye! Okay, so I am going to use the Hourglass, and this is not even new to most of you guys because all the beauty influencers here on YouTube have practically already reviewed it. I was going to do the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, stick foundation, but... I was told by several people that it was really made for like the formula of the foundation is for people with oily skin and unfortunately I don't have that so I went with the hourglass and this is in the shade warm almond almond however you guys want to say it uh, as usual I'm going to spray my little beauty blender here with my rose water Hourglass foundation in the shade Warm Almond. This looks very light now compared to my skin tone because of this horrific tan that I have. So here we go. I don't know how this is going to turn out. We about to see how this gonna work out because I just don't see this even working out anymore. Like I'm probably gonna have to go get more foundation. I just can't believe this tan though. Like, I'm so disappointed right now. I've been using a skin brightener to try to get my skin under control. Right, so for the concealer, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in 3.75. And you guys know that this is normally the concealer that I go to anyways. Um, so this may be stupid hellified light for me because look at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the tan is real out here.
I managed to get my hands on the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And of course use my Smashbox Contour Kit, that's my go-to. This is Too Faced Shadow Insurance. You guys know I either use this or Urban Decay. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go in with the Nubian One palette and we're going to take this kind of new color, it's peachy color here, it's like a dark peach color. And I'm going to take this fluffy brush, um, I've already kind of done this eye a little bit. We're going to take this fluffy brush out of the Sonia uh, brush set and we're going to go into the crease with this color. You're going to go into the Nubian 2 in the shade Morocco. And blending that in. Okay, so now you're going to go into the Nubian 2 palette and smoke it out with the shade Kenya. As usual, I'm going to use my NYX eyeshadow base. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Nubian One palette and I'm going to use the third color from the left on the second row. So now with that, I'm going to take my crease brush and I'm going to go back in with the shade, with the second <laughs> to last shade from the left on the bottom row from the Nubian One palette and we're going to blend in the shadow. So we're going to go in with that shade and then we're going to go in with Kenya to deepen it from the Nubian 2. Same crease brush. So you're going to deepen it with the Nubian 2. And I figured it would have been pretty cool to combine the palettes and see just how well they work together. So we're going to do the same on the other side and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use my Tarte Cosmetics um, Clay Paint Liner in the shade Black. And I'm going to use the angled brush that was in the Sonia uh, brush set. 
but I'm going to do this off camera because it takes me a while to do my eyeliner and yeah I'm just not going to film that part maybe I'll do it in a separate tutorial but as of right now no I'm not going to do it so I will be right back okay so now all I'm going to do is just line my bottom waterline Um, from the Sonia brush set and we're going to smoke out the bottom lid Kenya is a deep brown shade and so we're going to smoke out the liner and then place the shade Morocco right underneath it because remember you want all of this to be uh, like a brown and orange okay so for my blush I'm going to go in with the elf blush palette in the shade dark and these are the colors they are very very beautiful um, as far as applying the blush I was gonna go ahead and use this powder this um powder brush that came in the Sonia brush set, but it is extremely extremely dense so I don't think that that's gonna really work out too well so what I'm going to do is go in with my normal blush brush that I always use which I got this from um, my local drugstore and this is by Soho there isn't a number or anything like that on it I've had this brush for quite some time so I think I'm going to go in with I'm just I guess I'll go in with the darkest shade Wow, that is pigmented as hell. Wow, that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Now, this um, blush set was only like six bucks. So, and for it to be only six dollars and be that pigmented, that's like crazy. So, anyways, <clears throat> as far as highlight, you guys know my go to is my Anastasia Glow Kit. And I am going to use dripping in gold Alright, so I'm going to line my lips with Max Chestnut. What I'm going to do is go in with Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Evil Twin. Yes. 
Take Honey Love by MAC and just put it right in the center of the lip. We've got a very deep purple lip. Okay. It's called Evil Twin. I just felt like that shade was just appropriate, you know what I'm saying, for something dealing with Halloween. Okay, guys, so that is it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, by all means, subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And comment below what you guys think of it. And if you guys uh, want to follow me on Instagram, it's It's Eva Eagle, I-T-S-E-V-A-E-G-O. Um, that's on Instagram and Twitter. And if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, you can follow me on Snapchat at Eva Eagle. Not It's Eva Eagle, but just Eva Eagle. So yeah, um, that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I will see you in the next video. Bye.